we're going to measure the volume here of the inside of the box. So we'll take a closer look at the controls here. But what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and switch the measurement here and you'll see why. So notice how we're switching from doing a measurement using the whole length of the LM40 and then using the front of the LM40. There's a good reason for that as you'll see here. So we're set to inches but and when it does a measurement, it'll do cubic inches here. So uh, let's go ahead and yeah, hitting the clear button for any previous measurements, zeroes out the previous measurements and puts it back to the beginning. So see here, we've got this large rectangle. You're now set to the measurement mode for volume. And let's switch this back to the full length of measure. Okay, now again, hit the function button and there's now triangle. This is your direct Pythagoras. This is your indirect Pythagoras. And still yet, that's another indirect Pythagoras. And that's area. And this is volume. So this is where we want to be. We want to be in volume. And we want to use the full measurement length of this LM40 laser distance meter. Let's open up the box. And you'll see this is how we're going to do it. Here we have the laser spot right in the middle. This is flush up against the back. Okay, again, putting this laser knot in the middle and the back of the meter against the back of the box. So hit the measurement button. Now, this is where it gets a little interesting. We have it set to the full length, starting from the back, including in the measurement of the distance. Let's change that to the front. Because what's going to happen here is as we're measuring this vertical measurement, the depth of the box, if we have the length here, so to measure it, we'd have to put this in all the way. And you can't measure this distance here. It's too short. So. What we'll do is we'll just change it so it is set to measure from the front. We'll just balance this front edge of this LM40 right against the box here. So we'll go ahead and we'll click the button to activate the laser again. And so we'll just balance this as close as possible to the edge without interfering with the laser beam. And then Holding it steady, we hit the measurement button. And so we have a reading of 0 0.636 cubic feet. That's 0 0.636 cubic feet, and that's the internal volume of the box.